king for a day A poor boy for two life I hear people say When they see me go by A king for a day Doesn't sound just like much But a love of a day Made me king anyway Was haben Sie gesagt, wie viel dieser Mann wert ist? Hübsche Ware, 10.000 Dollar. Extravagant friend, we will be thinking of him in our prayers. You be needing it. God be with you, son. for someone stranger? Where is the sheriff's office? Yonder, but he's tied up in a funeral. Tell you, in these parts, sheriffs don't live long. Your next one will live to a ripe old age. That's so. Sounds like the words of a prophet. The prophet is old Jimmy Sparrow. No? dries up before it gets to the bottom of a man's belly. Bring me some, some more. more. you can. Well, I'll raise you. There's a piece of your rotten luck for you. Help me out of the next hand. As you like. It just might be there's somebody else who'd like to get in the game. Step right up, stranger. Consider yourself one of the crowd. One. Hey, looks like another man in need of $10,000. <laughs> well, bless his hide. He'd probably never come closer to getting it. There ain't nothing funnier than walking into a small town and having to hear such big lip. You don't strike me as very cordial. Let me explain. 
How many that make about? Twelve. Twelve. Should have a cemetery just for him. See, and he's not very cordial. Well, if there's room for twelve, there's room for thirteen. And that number's brought me a lot of good luck, Lee Galloway. Well, better luck next time. Looked for gold, but only found lead. Norton in? Yes, sir. Uh, wait, Mr. Galloway. You're not supposed to. Mm -hmm. Come right in. Make yourself at home. I heard you in the you know the risk you're taking. It's mighty dangerous for us to be seen together. For you or for me? For both of us. I forgot. You've become respectable. My pay, Norton. I'm leaving these parts for a different country. Huh, do they? Got it, right here. Got it all, right here. When I turn you in, I will have 10,000 more. Five thousand. You heard what I said.
to fire. We want him alive. been tailing after me all day. We got a proposition to make. We ain't part of the posse, we're unarmed. What are you chasing, butterflies? You know the Craig brothers? Tomorrow at dawn, they're gonna be hanged. The Craigs are the ones who robbed a year's pay in gold ingots from the army. We thought maybe we could do some business together. You interested? I'm interested. Hmm. Well, sure took you a long time to cook that one. No one hurries for the Craig brothers. Check out this muck, will you? Hmm. You may go. Never thought I'd live to see the day. Southern fried chicken, black-eyed peas, oven hot bread and homemade wine. Nobody but murderers, horse thieves and gold robbers deserve such a mouth-watering supper. A higher class than us. That's what the government calls justice. There. I hope it's to your liking. Why don't you take it and shove it up your... And I hope you choke on it. You don't want it? Nah. You guys want any? Nah. <laughs> nah. <coughs> you sure a buddy couldn't do you a good turn? Get out of here, you bastard, and leave us alone. God damn it. Well, no reason for us to let all this go to waste. You know, I got an idea this time we've had it. What the hell's keeping Slaver? Is he gonna wait till her eyeballs hang out? What's the bastard waiting for? There ain't much time to go. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe that's why he ain't come. Slim might have thought that he's got a hell of a lot more to gain without us. You'd better watch your mouth. Why don't you face up to the facts, Jason? Slim's got a sweet eye for your girl, Juanita. And they're the reason for why we're still in prison. I've got eyes to see. Tell him, Willie. Juanita? No. Not her. Slim won't let us down. He won't let us die. He wouldn't do that to us. Anger's gonna be postponed if you wanna know the truth. They got their appeal to a higher course. Why, they'll bust loose like greased pigs during the transfer. Hands off. Now that's the way. Open that cell.
<laughs> Everybody told me that this was blind. <laughs> Hope you're comfortable. Friend, I don't know who you are, but you're a godsend. Open the door. Don't worry, I'll open it. First, though, before I open it, I want to offer you a worthwhile proposition. Your life for 50% of the gold you robbed from the army. I don't know what you're talking about, friend. We haven't got any gold. Better try harder than that, Jason Craig. All right, you win. If it's all right with you, we'll split it five ways. 20% apiece. No. Hold on a minute. We can talk over the price. Uh-uh. 50-50. What do you guys say? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 50%. Mm. Uh, from now on, the orders are given by yours truly, that's me. Excuse me? Sure. Camp here. Nice and quiet. Tie the horses over there, Willie. I say there's nothing like riding on an empty stomach. It's pretty damn stupid of us to pass with southern fried chicken. And his black eyed peas, oven hot bread, homemade wine. Now what in hell are we gonna do? Start butchering the filly? <coughs> Shut up and stop complaining. Always thinking about feeding your face. Well, damn it, if I don't think about it, who will? Shall we talk business? Where the hell is that gold supposed to be? You'll have to go to Death Valley. It's about a ten-day ride. Well, I hope you don't mind if I tag along. With pleasure. Single bullet trouble's over. There's plenty of time. I feel like having some fun first. Mm -hmm. Let's keep them around. Yeah, it's like playing with a mouse. Jason, why don't you let me take care of the dog just for fun? You tell the horses. Take care of my boys, it's on me. Right you are, mister. Oh, 
momento. Ray fails. If you're interested, it's for sale. Beautiful. You can have it for three dollars. It looks simple. It takes weeks to make one. Well, you interested? What in hell is three dollars? It's a real bargain. Only one of its kind. In Mexican town, they got cheap imitations. But Cost twice as much. Ota, you make me sick, you and your stupid music. As for the girls in this place, they're all dogs. Broke, Broke my musical doll. You'll pay me three dollars, do you hear? Three dollars. Now pay. Sure, sure, I'll pay. Did you hear that, amigos? He wants three dollars. It's quite a lot, three dollars. But he who breaks must pay. Tell me, do you like one barrel or double barrel? Double barrel? You're only joking, aren't you, Mexican? It seems to me you ask for trouble, eh, gringo? Very funny. Thank you, stranger. <laughs> Too bad that your doll here is busted. Never can tell. Might have bought it from you. For the kid, huh? No, just a little something to give me some pleasure. Mind if I ask you where you got that? Out at the preachers. Hails from Arizona. Where does he hang out? Three miles from the old mine. A real pretty little house. I've heard he preached down south. He lives out there real quiet like with no bother. Thanks, friend. If you want, I'll give that pony preacher your regard. You do that. Of flowers you found. You think we're expecting visitors? I do get pleasure out of fixing dinners if there were a lot of people around to help us forget we're poor. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Without you, I would indeed be poor. I so love living in this little old house. I just hope we never have to move out again, ever. Don't you worry. We won't have to move anymore, my child. Clementine, some important clients are coming. Would you mind leaving me alone? 
You know how embarrassing it is for me to have you around when I'm talking business. I don't mind. No, go out the back way. Pleasure to see you all again. Howdy. Well, uh, how are you, Jason? Willie? You, Pete? Everything right with you? As you can see, we're still alive. This is Lee Galloway. He's our new partner. I'm right pleased to know you, Lee. Well, would you look at this? Must have been expected. We're starved, too. It's my pastime, sir. I make them myself, the musical boxes and all. It's uh, something to do in the long winter evenings, you know how it is. Uh, just sitting here, me and my daughter, kind of lonesome. So I mostly do it, just to keep myself occupied. Somebody must have wound you up. I like to do it. There are times when I spend a whole day on a box. Don't give him so much rope. Don't pay him any attention, Galloway. If he had his way, he'd be talking about them dolls all day. Don't pay him no mind. Oh, and don't stop talking for me. What more is there to say? I began making a few puppets to amuse Clementine when she was only a child. Couldn't afford anything more. And then, as she slowly grew older and more like a woman, well, she needed a lot of things, so I started making musical dolls. I decided to offer them to the public to earn some money. Your breath smells old. Why, you bastard! <laughs> Poor little old preacher. Nice little old granddaddy clock you got here. Out of order? Yes, it's broken. Too bad. That's really too bad. Makes musical dolls, but neglects to fix up a fine old clock. Very strange. Let's get it over with, Jason. Time short. Preacher, come here. Where have you hidden the money, huh? Money? Well, what are you talking about, Jason? The money I almost got hanged for. Your brother Slim took the money. I was paid only the small amount we agreed upon. <laughs> he did that on the very same day when you others were taken along to prison. It's true, it was the very same day. Tell me, is that the day you decided to turn us in so you could have the gold yourself? No, no. I didn't turn you in, I swear to you. I swear on my daughter's head. I never turned anyone in. It was Slim. No, 
I didn't turn you in, Jason. <laughs> So it was Slim who took the money, huh? No, don't shoot. Don't shoot. No. Please think of my daughter. You've about half an hour to go, Galloway. Have you forgot? You were gonna play cat and mouse. <laughs> Show's getting a little dull. I just can't stand watching the hero win all the time, especially when his name's Lee Galloway. Let's turn tables for a while. <laughs> now for the real fun. Change of music won't hurt anybody. And let him pay the whole bill. <laughs> and with interest to boot. I'm not gonna kill you with my hands. I've got something more amusing in mind. Come on. If you know how to pray, you better start now. I've been wondering what I'd do with this stick of dynamite, Galloway. Now I know. Only, I hate to do it. I won't be able to collect that $10,000 reward. Not very comfortable, huh? Now well, don't worry, you will be before long. Hey, copper, hurry up with that business. Thank you. 
Looks like we just got rid of a partner. one of the most peaceful men on earth. Camp here for the night and leave at daybreak. Where are we going? After Juanita or to get the gold ingots? Shut that damn thing off. It's getting on my nerves. I want to get some sleep. Boys. Surprised? Get up. What are you waiting for? Up, I said. Don't be afraid. Well, I'm no ghost. 
And I'm in no mood for jokes. That is, for the time being. I want 15% to be added to the price. You'll have to find it first. Have you ever thought about that? And you won't be able to find it without me. Otherwise, you and your brothers would be in hell. Off with your gun belts. And fast. Throw them down on my feet. Don't count too much on your luck, Galloway. It might turn tail on you. Luck and me are on the best of terms. She wouldn't do me dirt like that. Take his horse along with us just to make his life a little more difficult. He won't get too far on foot. Only he's armed. We'll follow behind, stay out of his range. We'll keep pushing him until we worry him to death. Galloway? Galloway? You hear me? You're armed, and we're not. But on foot, you won't get far. You'll have to cross the desert without a drop of water. When you're dying of thirst, all you gotta do is drop your guns and munitions and come along for a drink. You'll be mighty welcome. As you can see, money ain't everything. You hear? Just revenge his death.
<laughs> we can't let him sleep. We'll keep them awake. That way we'll be able to wear them down. Well, in that case, big old brother Jason, I'm out. Cuckoo. Thank you. 
Looks like old lady Luck's still with us, Dad. Oh. He'll pay for Willie's death. If I have to follow him to the end of the earth. Why does he have to have all the luck? Looks very familiar. Are you feeling better now? Oh, much better. Max. You must have had some adventure. I think it takes a lot of luck to make it across the desert in this heat, mister. Where's the stagecoach heading for? Death Valley. Death Valley. It came from there. Well, in fact, I was on my way to Springfield. As soon as I feel better, heading for that town at the next stop. Well, the next stop, sir, is my ranch. And as long as you have to wait there, what do you think about becoming one of my guests? Most kind of you. But it'd be enough if you could just supply me with a horse and some provisions. That'd be enough for the time being. You can have anything that you want. Welcome back, ma'am. Well, here we are. How about coming inside? He'll come out sooner or later. That's right, and we'll follow him into town afterwards. In. Your house. Sure.
Are you feeling a little better now? Yeah, much better, thanks. <laughs> I thought you might like something to eat. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. This hot bath has made a new man of me. Yes, I'm feeling much better. After what you went through, I'm sure some food will boost your energy, too. I'll repay you generously for everything you've done for me. Don't think that it's money I want. Well, then what do you want? My thanks? Your thanks? <laughs> Is there anyone who's satisfied with just thanks? Certainly not me. Hmm. But I have a solution. That you might try to show your thanks. <clears throat> I'll tell you what I'd do, Jason. He's not gonna bring back Willie to life. I'd forget about him. Anyway, you gotta get back to Juanita. I swore revenge. Revenge is what I intend to get. And if Juanita doesn't behave, she'll get the same thing as him. It's a magnificently beautiful day. Mm. Wake up, sleepyhead. <laughs> mm. mm. Now, how about some breakfast? I won't be too long. <laughs> When the hell's that bastard coming out? Say he does. We use an empty gun. He's dead. Whatever happens now, I won't be able to forget last night. I want them alive. Hold them tight, boys. That's Lee Galloway. They're offering a reward of $10,000 for him alive. Don't let him get away. I want him alive. <coughs> he shoot. Ten thousand's a lot for the hospitality of your bed for one night. I'm sorry. Please, please don't kill me. <laughs> don't worry. Not worth it.
Give me a whiskey. Coming up. Making for a day. There's a song just like mine. I'd like to have a room. A room for one night, sir. Maybe. Making for a day. A poker for the line. Number four. Please, you keep. Right upstairs. We're just wasting time here. Yeah, we can't give him up, Copper, because he won't give us up. That gold's reason enough for him to follow us if it takes him forever. Hey, Jason, take a look. There. That's the horse he took. I'm sure of it. Galloway's around this here town somewhere. outside there? He's upstairs. Number four. I'm obliged. Galloway gets a hold of Slim, makes him talk, we're finished. Let's head for home. We weren't sure whether you had your heads or not. Juanito? In there sleeping. Where's Slim? Out in the hay. He's been sleeping in the hayloft lately. Well, Brother Slim's in trouble again. Every time he is, he heads for the stable. I think I'll step out to greet him. <laughs> <laughs> Come. Tell us about it. You made it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure glad to see you. <laughs> I was getting worried. <laughs> but, but, what got into you, Jason? I could slaughter you like a hog if I didn't need your help. Where were you when we needed you? <laughs> but I got you to appeal to a higher court. <laughs> <laughs> Why, I organized everything so you could bust out like grease pig.
Let's have another story. Ask the preacher. He came to the court, too. He knows a lot of people in town. He knew a lot of people before I shot him. That's no good for me. Why'd you do that? Because he tried to lie about the money and couldn't hold his tongue. What'd he tell you? He told me a lot of things. He said you took the money. Well, I swear as a brother, the son of a bitch told me that you hid the money before you were arrested. Then I killed the man who deserved it. How's Juanita? Oh, she's been inspecting you. She always acted like you was just gone for the day. Yeah. I missed her a lot while I was gone. I swear this much. I'll kill the man that tries to take her away from me. Where's she at? She's sleeping. Made by the skin of your teeth once again, eh, Coffer? <laughs> Yo, polecat. <laughs> Where's Willie at? Kick the bucket. No more sport in this house, got that? We've got to revenge Willie. No use crying over spilled milk. We'll leave at daybreak. Slim and Coffer will be going first. I'm taking Chuckles and Quinto with me. And we'll prepare a warm welcome for a fast-thinking old pal of ours. Hey, what do you mean, pal? If you prefer a friend. Yeah, I guess we better get ready then. I suppose I get to cut off one of his ears. Pleasant dreams, Jason. Even 75% will be enough now. I want a hundred percent. Jason, why are you so quiet? Have you lost your tongue? Shoot, you hear? I'm giving up. I'm dying. The last of the crate, brother. I've been bitten by a scorpion. I have to get my knife.
Calloway, help me. Help me. Don't let me die. Help me. Please, help me. Please. Open it. This envelope contains something that is of extreme importance to our government. That gold there is your reward for getting this document to us. Take it. You have two days to get yourself out of the country. Good luck, Galloway.